What up, my ninjas? You know who it is. It is your boy Strident. And, uh, man, so I'm getting caught up on all this E3 stuff because, you know, like I told you, I've been less of a hardcore gamer as of, uh, you know, the last, I don't know, four or five years. I guess it would be mostly this current generation, you know, it's kind of turned me off to games. But anyway, as I was looking through E3 stuff, I went on game trailers so I could download the, uh, the trailer for uh, Metal Gear 5, The Phantom Pain, which I'm going to get into in another video. And then I, heard, I saw Killer Instinct. I was like, no, what are they, just re-releasing it? So then I, I click on it, and I see what they're calling Killer Instinct. Now, oh, man, from a design standpoint, the characters they showed, they showed Glacius, uh, Saberwolf, and Jago. Jago looks horrible. I mean... Anyone who played the old games know that Jago and Orchid are black, or they're, they're Thai, or they're, they're brown. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to get at. So you see this white guy in like a Shaolin monk costume with a ninja mask. And he's got these weird tats on his body. Like, who's, who is the designer for these games? You know? Um, Saberwolf. They just simplified him to looking like John Talbain, essentially, with maybe a smaller tail and a little bit bulkier. Glacius is the only person who looked exactly like what you would expect for a uh, ice-focused alien, you know? Um, what the fuck? But, you know, from a design standpoint, it sucks. The, the designs are hor The character designs are horrible. But the... Uh, the combat, it's like they took Street Fighter 4's engine, amped up the speed cut frames, and uh, made it feel pretty close to what, uh, to like more of a weight, a weighty version of what, uh, you know, Killer Instinct originally was. And I'm actually cool with that, you know, because, oh man, excuse me, I'm pretty cool with that because, you know, that's what's missing from a lot of the uh, the newer fighting games. It's like the graphics and the animation take precedence over the game system. So if it's a TD, a, wow, TD, a 2D game going to uh, three dimensions, as far as, you know, how the game is rendered and presented, even if it plays on a 2D plane because it's three dimensions and it's semi-motion captured or whatever, they try to add all the weight to make everything look more realistic. Once again, it's a game. We can forgive uh, uh, you know, a couple frames of motion or a couple frames of animation missing for the sake of speed and accuracy. I mean, that's what we grew up doing. That's how fighting games work. That's what needs to be in a fighting game. So, you know, from a system standpoint, the game actually looks like it's going to play pretty close to what you remember Killer Instinct playing like with, with a, a bit of an update, you know? So that portion, I'm a little excited to see. The, the, the really big kicker the thing that, like, gets the no prize, the thing that kills it for all of us, is that it's on the Xbox One. 95% of the people reacting to what we've seen with the Xbox One, it's like, it's going to be, PlayStation 4 is going to take it. I'm not buying either of them. Um, I heard, though, that the PlayStation 4 may not uh, block used games. But I'm not that impressed with what I'm seeing. But since the price tag is still within $400, it's possible that I might. But really, I'm gonna, if I do buy a PS4, it's gonna be really late in the, the life cycle of the system. I'm gonna be stocking up on older games for my PS3 because there's a lot of games for my PS3 that I have not played that I want to play. There's a lot of games uh, that you know, for my PS2, actually, that I still haven't managed to get because I haven't found them yet, you know? Uh, so, a lot of Japanese games, too. So, I'm going to be slow rolling on PS4 stuff because, you know, like I said, I'm not super impressed. I'm impressed with the graphics, but not the overall presentation or overall gameplay. You know, the whole package isn't amazing me. Uh, and the Xbox One, man, we're not even going to get into that shit. But anyway, I just wanted to share my thoughts on that. Because I plan on doing a little vid about character design. Just general character design. Do's and don'ts. The trends that we're seeing right now. And, you know, what makes a decent character. And I'm going to have tons of examples. Both of 
other professionals in my own work and I'm gonna show you the good and the bad at least in my opinion you know so anyway stay tuned for that um, that's my story and I'm sticking to it peace outside people